So we've done our clipper work on the body here with a snap-on comb. And we're going to do those, the rest of the legs here with the scissors. So the first thing we need to do to prepare this coat to be scissored is we need to comb it all up. So you can see how I'm using. This is our poodle comb, and this is new poodle comb. And you can see when I'm using it, I'm using it perpendicularly to the body all the time. So if you lay the comb down too much, it's not going to go through the coat very easily. And if you turn it this way, it doesn't, it's not, not really effective combing. So you want to always keep it perpendicular to the body as you're using it. And then for an area like this, we have the detailer end of the comb where the teeth are closer together. We can use that to pick out an area where the coat is a little bit denser. And that always helps to get through and make sure you don't have any mats in there. So you can see how I can easily flip it back and forth to use either the, the wide end or the detailer end of the comb. Once I get it all combed up, so you'll see this is even a different technique. This is called picking. So you can see how I'm picking and lifting, but my wrist is not moving. That's really important that you don't flip the hair because you can see how that changes the direction it is. And then when you get your scissors on that, it might make holes for you. So you want to keep your wrist straight as you're picking it out.